gold and silver traded with modest bullishness yesterday and has erased all the gains by the end of the day and today it has started to plummet early in the day with the Asia session. Now what to expect? Can we expect a crash in metals prices today? Or there is a possibility of a reversal? What is going our strategy to profit trading gold and silver today? We are going to see with the help of charts and indicators. This is the first update for the day. The next update will be released before the US session. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications. Do like, share and comment. Join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Let's start first to look into gold followed with silver. Watch this. See gold after retracing here yesterday I have mentioned it is a retracement channel and see it has breached the retracement channel and continued to move downwards. Now the first support level is at 23 70 it has already hit the levels here below which there can be sharper crash now look the moving averages have crossed over here and are trading with divergence what it may try to do take a dip and then bounce back this one possibility you cannot ignore now 2400 levels should be a greater greater resistance which should not be breached today only bullishness today is if it first breaks 2394 and then 23 uh, 2404 levels this zone is going to be a critical resistance zone and i think it is going to be I think it is not going to go there. That is what is my expectation. The stock has ticket oversold levels. MACD, look at MACD crossing over here, trading with sharp divergence, looking bearish, looking downwards. RSI has also come to oversold levels. Coming to two, look at two hour chart. See, first of all, you must note the sharp drop, the retracement. Now look at the drop here, and this could replicate here as well, which means there is a possibility for it to move towards further lows and if you look at it it is trading in this channel the lows here are close to 2350 levels 2360 levels now 2350 60 should be a very good support you can see uh, the rise started from this zone 2350 from here we have seen gold scaling towards the highs it can hit towards this zone and below 2350 it is directly going to lend towards 2320 levels anything and everything is possible while it was on rise we did not question so while it is on fall we should not also be worried about this yes it can fall strongly if it stays below 2350 stock has taken to the oversold levels if you look at magdi this is crossed over trading with divergence and bearishness rsi at bottom coming to three hour chart on the three hour charts my only worry point is it is trading outside bullinger band see it has expanded the bullinger band see the neck was here it is expanding here and it is putting pressure on the bands to expand further on the downside thus a drop below 2370 levels you can expect it to move towards 2362-64 first target and then 2350 levels the next target zone 2350-52 should be a very very good support here for gold today the stock has take over so MACD has crossed over here it is looking downwards it is trading bearish it can take it further down B watch RSI at bottom coming to 4 hour charts likewise on the 4 hour charts the crossover here in the moving averages it is continuing to diverge now see so far after the crossover we have seen it is almost staying flat now is the time for the moving averages to diverge which means there could be a stronger move coming very very soon here in gold thus staying below 2370 and then 2350 we can look forward to the next destination at 2320 levels remember anything and everything is possible after the drop retracement and this drop could be further bigger here if it stays below 2350 stock has stick to the bottom bank d is crossing over here for sell rsi has dropped to the bottom as well coming to daily charts now before we look into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading join my mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals be a part of my signals channel on telegram connect with me write an email or ping me over telegram for your queries related to the services join the free telegram channel for live updates and those who had asked me to recommend a broker where you can trade all the global instruments which offers a swap free account lowest spreads and no hidden charges you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now look at the daily chart see first of all this was the bullish channel here after this sideways movement it has given a breakout here it is trying to erase some of the gains uh, see moving averages are still bullish 2350 should be a very good support for the day if it continues to plummet if it continues to drop below 2370 68 zone you can expect it to move to us first 2360 then 2350 levels 2350 should again i am uh, telling you again it is going to remain a very very good support below 2350 is going to be a sharper correction where we can look forward to 2320 levels 2330 levels at the next time the stock has stick to the oversold zone macd crossed over here look at the macd it is now looking divergent now looking bearish and thus it can continue here on the downside rsi has dropped as well looking at this very very simple where is the buying ideally the buying entry has to be about 2400 levels but i will recommend a buy 2384 with a little risk where you can expect 2388 2392 and then 2398 2400 levels chances for 
uh, gold breaking 2400 levels appears to be difficult now why it is difficult look at the daily chart see first of all it was taking the support from 20 period it has breached the zone it has moved towards 50 period and i think it can move further down in fact towards 2350 and lower levels so yes today is a breakout and this breakout may continue to uh, move on the downside and hence you have to be very very cautious with your buying entries today and thus if you're buying at 2384 be extremely cautious as long as 2400 is not taken do not think that the gold is turning bullish on the downside i've already recommended sell at 2368 70 zone expect it to move towards 2362 2350 52 and then below that 2330 and 2320 levels are also possible take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at some Silver on the early chart, see it has stayed in the zone for a while. Look at the move here, bigger move, bigger direction it has taken here. See, yes, it is trading with divergence. Moving averages are now looking down. You should note this point. See, it has uh, seen a drop here. Since then, it has stayed in zone and now giving a breakout. So this breakout may continue here. 2775, 2750 levels cannot be denied here. A stock I stick at bottom. MACD is also crossed over trading with extreme divergence, suggestive of bearishness, but it can continue to drop further. I will just watch out for if MACD breaks the previous lows here. That is going to be a serious bearish indication. RSI coming to extremely oversold zone. Thus, a little recovery can be expected. If you look at the two R on the two R chart, similarly finding the resistance at 29, we have seen it plummeting. See, in just one single candle, we have seen it erasing all the gains from 29 to 28. It has traveled. Now, uh, 28, 27, 80 should be the first support zone below which we are looking forward to 2750 and in fact 27, 20 levels. The stock I stick to the oversold zone. If you look at the MACD, this has crossed over trading with divergence, RSI to the oversold zone as well. Coming to 3R chart, on the 3R chart, similarly, uh, moving average is trading with divergence. It has waited for the moving average to come down and now taken a direction. So it can continue to diverge before and wait for the moving average to com come down and then it will try to retrace here so yes right now the indications are bearish where you can buy i will recommend you to buy see it is trading outside bullinger bands here so a buying entry is only in only if you see it is staying about 28 40 60 zone which should be a greater resistance for the day now if you look at a stock i think this has come to oversold levels the MACD is also crossed over looking downwards staying bearish rsi is coming to oversold levels as well coming to four hours the observation on the 4 hour charts is more or less same see after the drop it has stayed in the zone consolidated and retraced and now giving a breakout so it is a good stronger breakout i will wait for the next candle also remember it has formed a nice neck here now after the neck obviously there will be divergence and that is what it is trying to do which means there could be series of bearish candles from here now imagine what will happen if one candle is so strong that it has moved from 29 to 28 what will happen if the second candles are there it can in fact plummet sharp thus you should be cautious and very very cautious today a stock is coming to oversold zone the MACD is convergent here. It is trying to cross over. RSI is coming to oversold levels as well. Coming today. Now, look at daily chart. See, lower highs and consolidation was seen today. Today, it is a breakout. And this breakout might, con might continue here and take the prices further down. See, the moving averages are now willing to cross over. And on the daily charts, uh, this crossover is coming after four to five months. This was way back in March when it is crossed over on the buy side. And now this sell crossover is coming after four to five months. Now remember, what does this signify? That there is a possibility of bearish momentum continuing here in silver for the near term. On the upside, we have seen 29, 40 and 50. Yesterday also I have mentioned it is going to remain the strongest, strongest, strongest resistance. It has reversed from the same zone precisely. Now this is again going to be one prime level for it to break past. But I do not think that it is going to happen. Also on the downside, see 28 is a very, very good support. And below 28, certainly, if the price stays below 28, 27.8, stay short. We can look forward to 27.50 and in fact, $27 levels very, very soon. So take your positions accordingly. On the upside, I will recommend a buy at 28.40 where you can expect 28.60, 28.80 and 29 dollar levels any move about 29 is a good sign for the bulls where the prices may recover strong chances for this happening appears to be very very less on the downside a selling entry now is in between 20 below 27.8 28 zone where we are going to look forward to a stronger correction taking it towards 27 50 27 20 and 27 dollar levels these are also possible see when it rose we did not question while it is dropping we should not be amused with the drop here 
take your positions accordingly trade accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for your queries related to the services join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort thank you have a great profitable trading day see you again before the us session do not miss to watch it thank